My name is Charles Sangland. I'm the programming manager here at uh, Machinist Incorporated. I've been here for about five years now. So my role here at uh, MI, I take uh, parts from our planning department, bring them into our manufacturing department, basically bringing those two departments together to make uh, manufactured parts and assemblies in a, the most efficient way possible. Well, Machinists Incorporated was founded in 1941, uh, doing repairs and uh, other parts and equipment for the local community uh, during World War II. And uh, over the years has grown, stayed in the same family uh, that actually founded it in 1941, uh, to now operate uh, seven different facilities, uh, including four machine shops, uh, fabrication division, gear manufacturing facility, and a couple different uh, assembly uh, plants. And uh, during that time, we've accumulated uh, a wide variety of machinery uh, and, and other types of equipment that we use to uh, produce a wide variety of parts and service uh, a wide range of uh, different industries and customers. Fabrication is a very large part of what we do. We build very large fabrications here from scratch. Uh, we will have some parts cut on the outside or outsourced. We bring and then kit all that together, fab everything here on site, and, uh, and then do all our machining here on site. We're finding that uh, as we were getting these more advanced machine tools, we also needed a software that was capable of a lot more advanced functionality than what our previous CAM packages were providing. We have some unique machine tool assets here at MI that are like our Veris 250 that is 8,000 millimeter X traveling column mill with two different five axis milling heads. DMU 210 is uh, 82 by 82 by 49 with a five, full five axis portal milling head. We have uh, two Mazak E670 mill turn lathes that are 42 inch swing, 172 inches in Z. There's a couple of machines that kind of started to instigate this change. Uh, the main one being our Varus. That machine has six different kinematics that it can be set up in. We were finding that writing posts for that in our older softwares was very difficult very time consuming. Two years had gone by, we really hadn't gotten much uh, pro progression out of our older software. So we started looking at what other softwares are out there. Some of the folks in uh, Germany were suggesting, hey, look at, you know, Hypermill, hey, look at Siemens NX, look at some of these other packages. The CAM packages that we started looking at, uh, I looked at some packages that were fairly rudimentary still that similar to like solid CAM. I was also looking at Hypermill because that was highly suggested. NX was kind of the next one that was also highly suggested. SurfCam translators are good for bringing uh, different platform packages in, but exporting data back out for simulation or any other evaluation is almost impossible. The Autodesk products were just an absolute no-go because of the subscription-based platform. I can't have a CAM tool that disappears within a day or two if it's stopped being supported. Esprit was a little bit more of a rudimentary software that didn't do a lot of volumetric checks. It, it did simpler five-axis toolpath, and NX just was much better. One thing that we were finding about NX is it supported all our more rudimentary machine tools very well, where uh, Hypermill was utilizing more of the five axis functionality of machine tools and the rotary axes. And it also produced a ton of code that would be very difficult to run in some of our older FNUP controls. Each package, as I evaluated them, NX showed that you could check all the boxes. Mm -hmm.